The thing about dirty laundry is that it seems to have a far greater gravitational pull than anything else we own. There's no other way to explain how so much of it ends up on the floor. I'm sure if he was still around, Sir Isaac Newton would totally back me up on this. Well, now to the floor, your laundry doesn't have to fall because you can toss it to a jet over there on a wall. Here's Ali Ward to explain. Imagine that with a simple movement, you could open a portal into your wall, feed your dirty clothes into it, and then whoosh, your clothes are whisked away, clear across the house, straight to your laundry room. This isn't fantasy, it's real. And the vacuum-powered system that does it is called Laundry Jet. It's comprised of a jet pack which goes in the laundry room. That's the powerhouse that draws in air. There are ports for the human interaction, there's piping and a low voltage cable to control the system, and that about sums it up. This mind blowing system was engineered by this man, inventor and founder of Laundry Jet, Drew Henry. I met him near Oroville, California, to test this transporting technology. Here we are, where it all began. Did it actually start in this laundry room? Well, it started in uh, a smaller house that we had. I built a, uh, a small box and put a couple leaf blowers in it, and that's really where it started. Leaf blowers? Yeah. They don't use leaf blowers anymore, and the clothes can now be sent through the laundry jet to and from the laundry room, from anywhere in the house. I had to give this a try. I waved the door open. Abracadabra. Oh, this is very exciting. Okay. Then fed the clothes into the pipe. No. Oh my gosh, why is this so fun? Is it, oh my gosh, it just like gently takes it away. While the clothes whipped through the house, I followed Drew to find the clothes on the other side of the property. Here you go. And look, here they are. Good job, thank you. Just in case there's, you know, a laundry ghost up there. Next. We went to see a more industrial application at the manufacturing facility. When did you find that sweet spot of how big the pipe should be? So the pipe size was kind of dictated by clothes, men's jeans, towels, you know, sheets. They had to fit inside. So we use a six inch diameter pipe. We use a smaller intake, which creates a bit of a venturi effect. So it draws in faster than it actually moves through the pipe, which helps get things going. Not only for home use, the laundry jet system is used by commercial entities too. Have you always been kind of a tinkerer, engineer, problem solver? Yeah, so grew up in a reasonably poor family. You know, we had a trailer we lived in and, and we built things to have fun. I'm mesmerized by this. I just can't wait to see it zoom by. Can we do it? Yeah. All right, so just open it up. I'll give you both of those. Cool, this is a big one. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm doing a big one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 33 miles an hour. 33 miles an hour, yeah. Watching your problems disappear at 33 miles an hour is such a comfort. 